in this video what i would want to do is i'd want to perform summation of n numbers present in the list but using recursion it it is a very straightforward problem if we do it in an iterative fashion what we do is we initialize sum to zero we iterate through all the numbers and do sum plus equal to number upon upon encountering every number and then at the end we return sum but doing this in recursion way would help us establish our understanding of recursion so what we have to do it is we have to translate this simple looking linear iteration of a list into recursive function right so uh, uh, like any recursive function what we have to do it is we have to identify a sub problem which resonates with the actual problem right so the the main problem that we are tackling is doing the summation of n numbers of a list what could be the recurrence relation of this very statement it is very simple like how how, how we can think about it is a uh, summation of all the elements of a list is equal to the first element of the list plus summation of rest of the element of the list right this with this way we have we have translated or we have defined our problem in a recursive way okay, because unless you define something in a recursive way you you can't model it into a recursive code right you you'd have to define a problem statement in a recursive way and which is exactly what we did with this particular recurrence relation so summation of ll is equal to ll of 0 plus summation of ll of rest of the list which is like st uh, starting from index 1 up till all other elements right but like any other recursion problem what we also have to define is we can't have an infinite recursion so we'll have to find out a way to define a base condition so base condition of this problem can be taken by two folds first is like when my list is empty return zero right because if my list is empty uh then uh, the sum of all elements in the list uh, obviously list is empty so then sum would be zero that could be my base condition or i could say that if my list has one element then the sum of one element is equal to that is equal to that element itself right so we can either go with uh, element 0 then return 0 or element 1 then return that element right so now let's jump into and code this thing uh what we'll do so what i've done is i uh, uh, i'm using python so in python uh, python provides us with a function called sum that by default performs a summation of all the numbers in the list so i've given ll to be equal to 1431671 and i do a sum on ll it gives me 25 right so the, the function that will be writing should spit out 25 so what i'll do it is i'll define a function called sum list that takes in numbers of type list of integers and it returns an integer for now i'll just return quickly return 0 uh from typing import list now uh what we have to do it is we have to instead of invoking sum we have to invoke sum list and here it should return 25 so we have to perform the uh, summation of all the numbers so what i'll do i'll do something very simple uh i'll define another helper function called underscore sum uh underscore sum expects also takes in a list of integers returns an integer uh, so something similar to sum list but this is the one that calls out itself recursively so what i'll do is this implies return uh numbers of 0 plus calls out recursively summation of numbers of 1 to n 1 to all right so take the first element and recursively perform summation of the of all other list so you are passing in the the sub list of the main list except for the first element so when this is evaluated recursively it would continuously do addition 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 and then at the end the the parameter that would go into underscore sum would have just one element and that would become the base condition so what we will do is will do if len of numbers double equal to 1 return numbers of 0 right because when my list has just one element the summation of all the elements in that list becomes that element itself so this becomes the base condition and in the sum list what we'll do it is we'll invoke sum 
of numbers right straight forward thing so we have defined one function called sum list that calls underscore sum which is our helper function so underscore sum is the main recursion implementation what it would do it is it would for the base condition if my base condition is like numbers if uh, i just have one number in the list return that very number otherwise take the first number and recursively call sum on the other part of the list now if i run this code i should see 25 and i indeed did let's test this with a few values let me just pass in one value say 11 let me call pass it 22 i'll pass 22 and see i get 22 I pass in 22 plus 123 plus 7. It should give me 30, and it did. Right. So this way, what we have actually done it is to gain a deeper understanding of recursion. We transformed a very simple looking sequential summation function into a recursive implementation. Although it's not an improvement over the existing one it also makes things little complicated but it helps us deepen our understanding about recursion which is what we are going here right so that when the time comes to implement complex looking code with recursion like implementing games like mind sweeper flood fill algorithms building fractal trees and what not we need to have a solid understanding of recursion so uh, now we understand where we are going uh, in the next video what we'll be doing is will be doing the summation of list but using divide and conquer right so yeah uh, uh i'll see you in the next one right. thanks sir